Welcome to part two of the distributive property. Last episode, we saw how you could distribute multiplication over parentheses, the way that parents distribute rewards to their well-behaved children. You're awesome. But like the fickle minds of the parents, the distributive property giveth, but also factoreth out. That's it. Um, give me the force. I'm factoring force from all of you guys, and I'm Mama, putting it on the fridge until you behave. Stop it. I just got that phone. No. Not only can we fact out a number from misbehaving kids, using the distributive property in reverse allows us to put the numbers in timeout mode. Say we have 14x plus 56, and both numbers are totally misbehaving. We want to use the distributive property in reverse to put both numbers on a timeout mode. The first thing you could do is look for a common factor of both numbers. With 14, we have 1 in 14 and 2 in 7. With 56, we have 1 in 56, 2 in 28, 4 in 14, and 8 in 7. So the common factors of 14 and 56 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. Let's use 14 because it's the greatest common factor. Now we can place the 14 on the refrigerator by itself. But since we did that, we have to put parentheses around the x plus 4 because both of those numbers are in timeout mode together. Once the numbers learn to behave, we can fairly redistribute the 14 to the x plus 4 and we end up in the same place, 14x plus 56. So, to recap, I have a number that's misbehaving. <laughs> Factor it out and place it on the refrigerator by itself. Then put the misbehaving numbers in timeout mode with parentheses. To check your answer, redistribute and see if you end up in the same spot. For those of you who are still hooked on friendship bracelets, they are a great way to see how the distributive property in reverse works with variables. Friendship bracelets! Who are we gonna make them for this time? Ooh, okay, so Karen, Merm, and Juhi. I wanna make one for Devin. Oh, then we need Erica and Judy, and then we need Nathan and Shannon, and Ponytail Sound Guy, and Legal Department, and Future Us as well. And here's where the distributive property in reverse comes in handy. We can use it to establish how many we can make out of how many we have. Okay, so you have 36 blue bands, 48 yellow bands, a handful of black ones, 60 red ones, and you had one white one. I can make 12. 12 is also a factor of 36, 48, and 60, and this way everyone gets one. But each bracelet would only have three blue bands, four yellow bands, and five red bands. They'd be super tiny. And you're super skeptical. I'm gonna prove you wrong, okay? Whoa, this just got real. While Jasmine works on our tiny bracelets, let's use the distributive property in reverse on an expression. Say we have 54x, plus negative 18y minus 63 plus 45, and we want to factor out a number. You can think of it like this box of rubber bands. We want to know how many bracelets we can make with the bands we have. But first, we have to find our common factors. Nine times six is 54, so nine and six can be our common factors. They are also factors of 18, but nine is the only factor for the last two numbers. Nine times seven is 63, and nine times five is 45. So we end up with nine groups of the quantity 6x plus negative 2y minus 7 plus 5. Hey, the negative 7 and 5 are the same color, which we can add together to get a negative 2. Our simplified expression is 9 times the quantity 6x plus negative 2y minus 2. To sum it up, using the distributive property in reverse is just like working with these rubber bands. Look at your jumble of numbers and variables, factor out the number of bracelets you want, and last, combine like terms and colors. Hey look, pinky bracelets. These are ridiculously cute. Hey look, pinky bands. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure these are like slowly cutting off my circulation, but it's okay. okay. Hey look, pinky finger, wait. <laughs> pinky fingers? They're <laughs> <laughs> super tiny. Well, Jasmine works on her super tiny bracelets. Why can't I say bracelets? Ugh. Sissies, to addition the way that parents distribute rewards to their well-behaved children. <laughs> <laughs>